This is the door I want to put a deadbolt on. The method I'm going to show you works for these new keypad deadbolts and the traditional, you know, bore a hole and put them in deadbolts as well. I really like these. I put a couple in. I'll link in the show notes to the brand I like. The other tool that's really helpful is, um, I think it's called a door lock template jig. I'm not quite sure, but it uh, basically helps you line up where to drill the holes and then it comes with a couple different hole saws for drilling those holes. Um, this was really inexpensive, I'll link in the show notes again, but this made my life a lot easier installing locks. First you want to think about placement of the deadbolt. The whole idea is to keep people from getting in your house. Traditionally I think the deadbolts kind of go above the doorknob here, but if I could break through this pane and get my hand down here, I could unlock a deadbolt up here. I'm going to mount the deadbolt below the existing doorknob. Just a little bit of comfortable space that way, no one can get their hand in and over. And it's a little below the doorknob, I'll be okay with that. Put it where you want, I'm just going to show you how to put one in, okay? On your drilling jig here, there's a 2 and 3 8 setting and a 2 and 3 quarter setting. So to determine where to set this depth for your drilling, you measure from the center of the doorknob to the edge of the door. And this one is a 2 and 3 8, so your other choice is two and three quarters. But this one you can see from the center of the door to the edge is two and three eighths. So we set that same setting on our drilling rig. All right, we have our mark as to the top of our hole. So this puppy slides on like this. And then I'm just gonna make sure that that mark is at the top of where we're going to be drilling our hole. And of course, I got it wrong. Let's redo that. Make sure this is level and start. So we've got this board through. Now we're going to work on the bolt. Now we're going to drill the bore for the bolt, the sliding bolt that's going to come into the lock with a one inch right here. If it works. These drilling jigs are really handy, but you have to make sure that they're straight on and not uh, off at an angle in any way because I've messed up a couple times and I put these on and then I've drilled it crooked. So you want to have this straight and then drilling straight is really important. In, in, and it'll work. But if this has moved a little bit or the drill bit's moved, bad things happen. Listen for me, learn from me. So depending on your bolt hole distance here, you will set this to two and three eighths or two and three quarters by just turning that. So this makes it shorter and you spin this and that makes it longer. That's pretty universal on a lot of uh, doors, by the way. So they're gonna set this to two and three eighths. We're gonna slide this in here. By the way, that says top, so top goes up. Nice. All right, I'm gonna do a one inch hole in the door jam where the deadbolt lines right up to here. Do a dry fit. Make sure that that bolt moves nicely into the slot. And then put your plate here, center it, pencil around it, then use a chisel to lift up about an eighth inch here so this plate sits flush in here. All right, I had to kind of round out this hole a little more. I was a little off in my um, drilling, let's just say. But you've got the front of your keypad and you're gonna fit that through here. So this coming out of the keypad yeah. It's going to go into the bolt, it's kind of hard to show, and then slide in like that. It seems to work. <laughs> now we're going to put the back on and we're done.
Uh, we're not done that. Don't we have a doorknob too? We'll switch out the doorknob yet. Yeah. Don't worry. It'll match. There's something about matching is important. So we'll have a same color doorknob that you'll have as your lock, okay? Yeah. Excuse me. Now you're in my shot. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put the back on. Follow the instructions that come with your keypad. And then these two screws will go in and connect it all together. So that closes. To lock it, just press this top button, like that. And then your door is locked. You want to unlock it, come here and punch in your code. I'm going to do my code. You can hear a little click, unlock it, and the door is open. Nice, huh? Press that and then lock it.